Good day, speed with I'm super excited that you are here. And in this video, we want to talk about how successful people learn. It is a proven fact that one of the secrets of successful people is in the way that they learn. Successful people are students for life. They have a student attitude. They never stop learning. By the way, the word student is from the word study. So you don't stop uh, being a student because you are no longer in school. As a matter of fact, if you are in school and you are not studying, even if you have a school bag, you have textbook, you are not a student. So successful people are people who see themselves as students. They have an open mind to continuous learning. And the reason why we want to study or we want to discuss this in this video is because we also want to be successful people. And if we do what they do, we will get the same results that they get. If we do better than what they are doing, there's every tendency that we will get better results. Success is predictable. Yes, so that's why we are doing um, this video, so that we can emulate or even do better than what they are doing. All right, if you are here for the first time, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Harry Owanaba. I'm a speed reading expert. I train people from all walks of life to read books faster, to understand better, remember more, and execute aggressively. I believe that if I can inspire people to read, that their lives will be transformed. And so I've dedicated over 10 years of my life to raising lifelong committed learners. Today's your first time. Please subscribe to this channel, turn on notifications so that you can keep receiving videos from me. I do this on a weekly basis. Do well to like this video and share it if you got value from it. All right, having said that, the first question I'll ask you is what is your learning curve? I don't know um, the particular month at which you'll be watching this video, but you ask yourself, what is your learning curve? This question simply means that what have you put into your learning in course of this month, in course of the week, in course of the year? How much of your income or your resources, by your resources I mean your time and your money, is going into your learning it is very important that you do this you must have a way or a strategy for checking your learning curve on a weekly basis on a monthly basis and a yearly basis this is one of the major things that successful people do they know what they are investing how much of their time they are investing on a daily basis in learning they are very successful people that you and i uh, love to be like but it will shock you that some of them are spending three to six hours on a daily basis studying. Why some of us are saying that we are very busy. Some of them have invested in books, in resources, and in trainings. It is very important that we also uh, check our learning curve at the end of every month. How much time have you put into your into your learning? How much uh, resources, financial resources, have you put into your learning? It is very important that you note that and that you keep improving on it all right talking about how successful people learn one of the major points or uh, that i'll be giving you today is mentorship if you are going to um be a fast learner there are different ways to learn stuff but if you want to be a fast learner one of the routes that you need to take is mentorship look for someone who has achieved what you want to achieve and be willing to learn from this person it is very important if you try to learn some things by yourself sometimes you end up spending much more time something that you can learn in one hour you might spend 10 hours learning it something you can learn in one year you can spend 10 years learning it anytime i want to delve into something new one of the things i do is to look for somebody that has already achieved the results that i want to have and i simply humbly go to this person and let the person know my intentions it is very important that you know that when i um decided i was going to go into coaching and consulting on a full-time basis i looked for a consultant in my city and i went there and i submitted myself under him and then he mentored me he showed me so many things that if i decided to learn by myself it would have taken me a longer time now please note when you are going for mentorship um, this person's age will not be a barrier. Sometimes the person mentoring you in a particular area can be older than you or can be younger than you. Age should not be a barrier. Uh, the person's educational qualification should not be a barrier. What you should be looking at is the results that the person has. Very important that you know that. Number two is books. 
one of the major ways that successful people learn also is through books if somebody has decades of knowledge and puts it in a book you can compile decades in days by simply reading that book let me explain to you i'm reading a book presently as i'm doing this video the book i am reading as of now is winning with people by john maxwell john maxwell is a leadership as experts and he has been doing this for over four decades now now he writes a book about winning with people who talks about how to relate with people this man has been doing leadership for over 40 years i've not been privileged to see him and i don't know if i would ever be privileged to see him but he has documented his experience and his expertise in a book if i pick up that book and i read it i am compiling his years in few days maybe one week maybe two weeks i'll be done with that book and i must have learned so many things that took him years to learn it's an advantage that you don't need to joke with and that's why i was talking i'm always talking about you know reading books another area you need to look at also is volunteering what where are they doing the exact thing that you want to do you have to ask yourself that question it's not every time that you work to earn money you must learn how to work to learn. In fact, the primary reason why you work is to learn, not to earn money. In the process of learning, you can also earn. I told you about how I want, what I did when I wanted to start uh, my coaching and consulting. I actually went to this consultant in my city and I volunteered for six good months. Six good months, I was waking up every day, going to a work that I was not going to earn anything from having series of meetings, doing different things for this person. And I learned a lot in that process. He was he was gracious enough, um, though it was not part of the agreement, he was gracious enough to, uh, on the long run, after seeing some of us, our commitment, began to give us some um, allowance for our, our transport. And then he was feeding us once a day. But that was not part of the plan. We did without that for like almost a month before that started happening. So it's very important that if you are going to be a fast learner, you must love to volunteer. Volunteer at different places. Volunteer at different offices, companies that are that is doing what you want to do. Volunteer in your church, anywhere you are, be willing to serve. In the process of doing that, you are also going to learn so many things that you wouldn't have learned on your own. Very important. Another way that successful people learn is through podcasts, tapes, conference, seminars, and workshops. It's very important also that you open your mind to podcasts and to tapes. So many of you, by the time you take um, um, your learning test, if you are following me keenly, you will know I talk about um, the learning test so that you can know if you are an audio learner, if you are a video learner, or if you are a kinesthetic learner. If you are, if you are an audio learner or a video learner, podcasts, tapes, they are very good for you. You must go to, uh, go to Google. And just type podcast on relationship. You will see different results. Go and download some of them and just listen to them. There are apps that you can download on your phone. Go to Google Play Store. Download a um, podcast app on your phone. Very powerful ones. And you every day you listen to them. While you are doing your domestic chores, you listen to them. On your way to work, you listen to them. At the gym, you listen to them. You don't have to waste any moment. Make sure that you keep an environment that continuously encourages you or spurs you to learn and that's what podcast that's what tips you know also does for you when there's a seminar around you that has to do with something that is going to help you achieve a goal or an objective why not go for it some of them are free some of them are paid for you have to invest in your learning so that you can keep growing and becoming a better person always remember that who you are who you are is a function of what you know and this is also going to determine what you are going to achieve in life on the long run. Very, very important. Another way successful people learn is by observation. A successful, a successful person can be around you just asking some few questions. But you don't know that he's observing you. He's observing your response. Sometimes they are not even asking any questions. They are just looking at what you are doing. You must learn how to observe. When you go into a new place, a new environment, a new country, ask questions observe the way that people are doing there some things are better caught than taught some things nobody will ever sit you down to teach you about them but just by observing you get to learn it is very very important very very key to your growth another 
uh, way that successful people learn is traveling. Some people think, some people, when they see people traveling, they think they are wasting money. But they don't understand there are some things you would never learn until you travel to some places. There are some things you will never know until you live where you are to where they are doing it. It is very, very important. Um, as at when I'm recording this video, a presidential aspirant in my country um, just traveled to a particular country to run according to him understudy something and so many people are fusing about him they are saying he's not supposed to travel uh the timing for his traveling is wrong while uh they might have their reasons for saying that the point i'm trying to make is that uh, and what he, his response to them is that leadership and learning goes together if you are going to be a good leader you have to be learning you have to go to the places where people have already done what you are trying to do in your country in your organization it is very 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 important i will repeat this again there are some things you will never learn until you travel to some places very important so for like a closing remark i'm going to say to you today that who you are today and who you will be in five years time will be as a result of the people you spend time with and the books that you read the next five years you are going to be another kind of person but whether it is in being positive or negative is going to uh, be determined by the people you spend time with and the books that you are reading it is very important that you know this. that's why you have to be very intentional about your association about the people that you spend time with about the people that you listen to because whether you know it or not they are shaping your mind they are shaping your thinking and they are shaping your life also the books that you read not every book is beneficial to you it's not every book that you're supposed to read i'm going to do a video after now on um the factors you should look at before choosing a book for yourself it is very important not every book is, there is not every book is even good in the first place it is very important that you also know that so you have to be intentional about the books you are reading you have to be intentional about the people that you are spending time with all right before I let, I let you go, I, I need to also let you know that there's a lot to learn. Um, as a speed reading expert, every month, I train people on the art of reading books faster, understanding better, remembering more, and executing aggressively. I do this every month. Um, I do this in two different ways. I do it on a one-on-one -on -one basis, and I do it in a group coaching session. So there are people who have a very tight schedule, and sometimes they don't meet up with um, the times that we choose in our group coaching session so they prefer one-on-one -on -one. if you are in that category with just fifty thousand naira, you are in fifty thousand naira is hundred dollars we have one-on-one -on -one coaching session with you in a month two times every week with you we allow you to choose a time that um, suits your your um, schedule and then we work with that time we do video calls we do um, messages and we use different platforms to ensure that we get it done two times every in a week eight times in a month and we are done but you can be rest assured that at the end of the program your reading culture is going to improve and you're also going to learn how to consume large amounts of information in a short period of time if one-on-one -on -one doesn't work for you like your budget is not up to a um, hundred K I'm sorry fifty thousand naira, which is hundred dollars you can go for just ten dollars which is um, about five thousand naira as of today for the group coaching session it is very important that you train yourself so many people that you see um having the kind of results that you want is because they have actually attended a training on reading on learning that has helped them to become better people all right so I'll repeat again, my name is Harry Awanaba. Thanks for watching this video. My mission is, still remains to raise lifelong committed learners. If you have not subscribed to this channel, I encourage you to do so. Turn on the notification, click on that bell, so that anytime I release these videos, you get to see them. Like and share this video. When you like and share this video, YouTube is going to um, let more people to see it, let more people to watch it, and so that their lives also can be transformed. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.